Now, before we get into the action, we have some very sad news about former West Indies paceman and now coach Malcolm Marshall. Last week, he was admitted to hospital with a stomach complaint when well, it's been confirmed that he has cancer of the colon. Charlie Thomas spoke to Malcolm today at his hospital in Birmingham. Well, Malcolm, first of all, could you tell us why you... First of all, could you tell us why you are here in hospital? Well, I had a few problems, obviously, with my side, and uh, I came up to Birmingham with Dr. Rudy Webster, and we came to the Prairie Hospital, and uh, we had a few tests which was done, and that's the main reason why I've been here. Well, I've had the operation, so obviously I've got over the first hurdle, and second hurdle to, to get over, which I know that I will. I'm a very positive person, and I've got great support. And I'm looking forward to getting back to do what I do best. It must have been a huge blow when you heard the news. Uh, yes, but the thing about life is that the things in life are here to test you, one. And two is that the certain things in life that you can't change and you have no control over. It's like getting, I, I put it, it's like getting into an airplane. You know, I'm not, I wasn't a great flyer when I first started flying because I had no control in my life. 22 years later, I'm still flying. <laughs> It's that kind of attitude that made you the bowler that you were, I think. I just think that uh, I mean, anything that I do in life, I always believe that, I always want to believe that I'm the best person at my job. And you've got to be a positive person. I've always been a positive person in life. Well, Sir Viv Richards has taken over. Have you handed over completely to him, or are you still in touch with him? I think Viv is uh, now the coach of the team. And I personally wish him all the best. I know he's going to do a fantastic job. Um, he's like myself, he's a very hard man as well. Takes, uh, only expects the best. Uh, we got a good side, uh, well led by Brian Lara. We got our two old veterans in Courtney Walsh and Kirtley Ambrose. And we got a bunch of young guys. And we got a bunch of young guys that, uh, who all learned the trade and who all done quite well so far. And no doubt a victory over Australia would be uh, a good tonic as well. Well, I'm confident I'm here, but I'm confident we're going to beat Australia. Um, I spoke to Courtney this morning, and he called us the front how he was, and uh, he told me not to worry, we'll definitely beat Australia, and I know we will. And how would you rate West Indies' chances of actually lifting the cup for the third time? Well, I think Hansi Cronia answered it when the tournament opened. He said that um, in order to be the best, you've got to beat the best. Uh, I think that's a great line, so I'll stick to that line for the time being. Well, that's Malcolm Marshall there. Now, uh, gentlemen, you both faced him. What was your reaction to that? Well, just amazing, but you, you can see how positive he is and really wish him a really speedy recovery. I'm sure he'll be back in the fold to, to help the West Indies out again. And if he's listening, we'd like to wish him a speedy recovery, Malcolm. You'd second that, wouldn't you? Well, 100%. You know, it's devastating news, but uh, Malcolm, I know you're probably watching. Um, you know, speedy recovery, mate, and if anyone can beat it, uh, you can, so keep your chin up. Absolutely, we uh, all second that. Okay, let's turn.